Peace lovies, it's Amira, also known as Blissfully Mindful, back at you with an updated DC studio apartment tour in our 325 square feet of goodness. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to jump right into it. As I said hello, <laughs> as soon as you come into the door, we have on the left a size little coat rack. <laughs> we hang her leash, her harness, her sweaters, hoodies, whatever up there. And um, beside hers is our coat rack slash mail holder slash uh, message board. <laughs> All of that up there. Um, I love it. It's nice and compact. We only put like one or two jackets up there. And then right below that, I didn't want a big shoe rack. I have one and I just don't like all that stuff. We have such a narrow walkway here. So I honestly just got these picture display shelves and I use them for our shoes. <laughs> I got these from Ikea and I just hung two of them up and we just, I don't like a whole lot of shoes out at a time. So I purposefully just put two. Okay, then on the right is her food dish. It's right across adjacent from that as well as our countertop where I have our spice rack. Um, I love it. So cute. I will link all of these products in the description box below. I got that one from Amazon in our tiny counter, tiny sink. Our minimal amount of space here. So I decided to get some magnets and hang our knives and scissors up here right you know behind the cabinet right behind the door and on top of that like some nice security right <laughs> and i hide it with the fruit bag Adjacent to that is our closet. Now I use this closet as a pantry. So one side is a pantry, one side is for my clothes and stuff. But also we have like two upper cabinets and then these two uh, lower cabinets, which are the full size ones. Don't, I'm not able to fit a lot in here. These are all the cabinet space we have here. Our tiny, everything in here is tiny. The stove is tiny, like it's really tiny. It's not the normal size stove. The fridge to me is kind of tiny. Um, I store things up there, which I showed you all like I think a week ago. Got those baskets from Five and Below. Mm -hmm. And here is the beloved garden. Love it, love it, love it. You all know how much I love this garden, how much of a labor of love it is. I have put so much time and effort into this thing. Look at it shine. also put some cookbooks up here and this is my mushroom grow kit i love it it's so oh my god the mushroom grew so fast so fast i will definitely be getting these regularly um of course i told you all that in another video here's my ganesha and all of my veggies i love them we are so happy that we're able to grow so much food in this tiny apartment oh my goodness I also store cookware down here because again, we have very limited storage space here. So I just put little pots and pans. That, this is our bucket. <laughs> so it's a little tin can I decided to use as a bucket. And this is my plant stand. I love this. I got it from HomeSense. And I just love it for the aesthetic, the texture. I like how the gold in it matches the gold trim on the mirror. And I wanted a few gold accents throughout the apartment, not too many. So that's one of them that I decided to kind of add to the mix. Um, kind of wanted to mix metals. So I know I have that tin um, plant stand and then with the gold trim on the mirror. And because our doorknobs also have like the brass gold doorknobs throughout our apartment. So I figured let's, let's accent that a little more throughout the apartment this is our day bed i got it from wayfair we first moved in i love this day bed um of course uh, i tried to mix the textures with the bedding with this i got all of this from amazon um this duvet i love it and i got this throw we 
kind of switch throws out frequently though so i'm not sure how much longer that one's going to be here but yes all the pillow covers got all of that from amazon we'll link all of those things in the description box below lots and lots of pillows because by day we use this as a couch and then we clear off some of the pillows at night and we use it as our bed so that's why there's so many pillows because it literally doubles as our couch so we really give life to a day bed <laughs> So I made our beds more or less identical. Um, a couple of the throw pillows are different, but the same color. Um, I just kind of wanted to kind of keep it consistent throughout. But yeah, the bedding is the identical is identical on both day beds. Um, textures give life into the apartment and make it more cozy. That was something that was important to me. That's why you see so much texture. Here's a side and her little bed in between ours. <laughs> I got these curtains also from Amazon, love them. Again, wanted to play around with textures, so that's why I got this one. I love it though. I wanted something kind of sheer, but not too sheer. I had a, some curtains before that were too sheer, so I decided to go with these because these are just sheer enough, you know, and I love them. I wanted white also to make the place feel airy. Of course, put all these plants in the window. So I wanted to feel like I was bringing the outside in. So that's another reason why there are so many uh, plants. <laughs> I have my herb garden right on the windowsill, as you see. Got the big plant pot from HomeSense. hanging plants love these these are fairly new uh, got the the plant hanger from world market and i love it so much the plant hook i got from amazon though but i absolutely love this hanging plant holder is so beautiful yeah i saw that and these were the last two i was just so happy that they had two because i wanted two i don't like to get one of stuff Curtain holders, I got those from Amazon as well. Just added a little bling, <laughs> again, to mix up the texture a bit. And again, here's a side. Her, this is her little room, you know, her room within our room. And she just loves it. She, I think she really feels like it's literally her room. <laughs> and as you can see next to it is her gate. It's just a wooden gate that's foldable that I got that we can use if we need to kind of keep her contained because we're busy and we don't want her to get into stuff. And I got this plant pot as well from HomeSense. Um, more house plants, again, to give it that cozy vibe. Got this from Marshalls, um, this gemstone. And oh my gosh, you all remember when I got the <laughs> Himalayan salt lamp from Five and Below. And it just adds again to the cozy feel in here and um, some shungite. I like to use that all throughout the house and put the cell phones near it to keep the, you know, electromagnetic radiation, all that crap down. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have that throughout the house, but yeah, I have it kind of everywhere. And this is the living room. Uh, then we turn around though, here's the TV situation. Gotta have that, you all know I love TV. <laughs> you all know I love it. I hung it up myself, was scared to death because I've never done that before, but it's been up there sturdy. Got this, um, I didn't want a whole TV stand. So I just got this for my daughter's consoles and I, it was hard, but I hung those up as well. Again, another plant, hanging plant that we got from World Market. Please ignore the junk on top of the fridge, but I have nowhere else to put it. I'm still gonna try to find some better baskets to hide it all the way, but for now it works. And my daughter's guitar adds a little to the aesthetic as well. 
and that's that little corner of our living area and we entered the bathroom so the bathroom we entered through a walkthrough closet and our bathroom i think i've shown you all before but it's still very basic i haven't done too much to it love this little trash can it's so tiny and little and cute and i got it from ikea um, definitely adds a little to the aesthetic and it fits in our tiny bathroom <laughs> and I did I don't think you all I think you have seen this but I just got this little basket oh my gosh I forgot where I got it from I think I got it from Marshall's or Ross oh my goodness I'm so sorry I can't forget I think I got it from Ross but I just love it just keep little stuff in here um, mostly I keep I love this little um, speaker it's a shower speaker but the suction cup is horrible it sucks it does not stay up so I decided just to put it in this basket but yeah you know for some like spa music or something while you take your shower just like um, whatever kind of soothing music you want to play while you're in the bathroom but I thought it was nice um, you all there is my shower head I replaced it myself yes I did that <laughs> I love it I'm so it was so easy and I was so upset with myself for taking so long to try it I was just afraid I'm not a plumber you all so but anyway that was a soap dispenser these are our shower brushes and I keep the shower very basic I don't like a lot of clutter I don't like stuff all on my sink all in my shower I just don't like all that stuff out so everything here very clean very minimal um, i did change the handles on these because again i wanted a few gold accents um, so as well i got this little um you know decor in here for the bathroom with a little bit of gold as well and this soap dispenser i love this i got this from amazon for some automatic soap dispensing <laughs> and it does the foam soap so i just love this um, I don't even have to fill it up very often, but yeah, it, it I love it. I haven't had any problems with it. I will absolutely link that in the description box below. For our air freshener, we use incense here. No aerosol spray cans in this bathroom. Ah, oh, you all look at my... I replaced this. Yes, I replaced the sink <laughs> handles. Um, I did that myself. Don't you love it? <laughs> yes, I love it. It's very cute. It adds a little chic vibe to our bathroom that it did not have before. And there it is. I also put this up. It had a crossbar for the towel, which looked crazy and made no logical sense. So I changed that as well. Also in here, I wanted to highlight is that we put these automatic lights on. I like these for when you come in the bathroom late at night and you don't want those bright lights shining in your eyes. So I put the, their USB, you know, you charge them with the USB charger and just they come on automatically. Look, it says, yeah, when you come in the bathroom, they come on. Uh, it, what they sense the movement, they come on and they go off by themselves. So I just love those. But that is our tiny apartment. I hope you all enjoyed your stay. You had a nice, cozy, blissful, peaceful experience when you came through. I appreciate you all so, so much. Um, everything here, very intentional. I wanted just a cozy, simple, um, kind of girly, I guess, kind of vibe, but just open, airy, uh, nature-inspiring kind of vibe. And something that also exemplified this sort of city life, you know, just kind of <laughs> wanted to bring that in as well. And I didn't want it so city though. So that's why I did put so many plants in because I wanted to kind of feel, you know, a little natural in here and bring some of that outside. And it really makes all the difference in making your place feel cozy. And I absolutely love every one of my plants. I enjoy picking them out. I love every piece that we've chosen for our space. Um, it exemplifies us to the max, the textures, the colors, um, the vibe, just the overall vibe. Just it's us, you know. I love the gold accents that little sort of bring a little sparkle, extra sparkle in here. I love that we're able to grow our food in here. Um, we've just really done our best to make the best of our tiny studio apartment. I hope if you are in this situation, it inspires you to do the same. Just make it yours, you know, make it something that you are happy to come home to. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I welcome you to visit my channel often. I love you bunches and bunches and bunches and bunches. And I will see you all next time. Peace and love. Sunflower smooches. Mwah.